Hi friends, welcome to Dr. Obi's Garden. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily get many pineapples from a single crown and how to report pineapple plantlets to grow them to maturity. Let's get into it. First, you need a pineapple crown. The bigger, the better. Hold the pineapple fruit and crown and twist it gently to get the crown off. The small bit of fruits attached needs to be trimmed off to prevent easy entry by pathogens. Now, peel off a few of the smaller leaves at the base to expose more surfaces for root growth. Allow the cut surface of the crown to cure for one or two days by keeping it in a dry place away from direct sunlight. After curing, the cut surface should look like this. It's now time to split the crown into sections. Using a sharp knife, cut the crown into longitudinal sections. You can first cut it into half. And then into quarters. Each crown can be cut into four or more sections depending on the size of the crown. It's important to note that each section has the potential to produce at least one pineapple plantlet initially and as you will see later in the video, additional plantlets after the first harvest. Now remove the apical meristem from each section. This step is critical to ensure faster bud emergence. Doing this triggers the other lateral buds to start sprouting one at a time but sometimes you can actually get multiple bats sprouting you can trim off a little bit of the tops of each section this step is completely optional trimming down sometimes lead to faster bud emergence but the size and weight of the plantlets may be affected. Don't trim more than 50% of the leaves. The pineapple sections are now ready to be planted. To plant, you need a basin or a container with holes created at the bottom for draining excess water. Fill with a soil mix made up of 50% river sand and 50% sawdust. Water it thoroughly. The container can be about 15 centimeters high, but you don't have to fill it fully with the soil mix. About halfway is fine. Create as many holes as there are pineapple sections. The holes can be about 2.5 centimeters deep and at least 4 centimeters apart. Insert one section into each hole firming the base to ensure contact with the soil. You can dip the bottoms of the sections into a fungicide solution before planting, but I don't bother with this step for my home garden. Water it lightly, as too much water can cause the sections to rot. Keep the setup in a sunny area. One day after planting, apply MPK fertilizer at a rate of 5 grams per liter to stimulate root growth and provide nutrients needed for bud growth. Do this once a month. After one month, the growing bath 
will be big enough to be seen. If you are enjoying this video, put this on record by hitting the like button. If you have not already subscribed, kindly do so and hit the notification icon so you don't miss any new videos from us. At two months after planting, the bats would have gone into plantless. At this stage, you have three options. One, you can harvest and transplant all the plantlets to stimulate other bats to grow if you want more pineapple. Two, you can harvest and transplant only the big plantlets, leaving the others to grow a bit more. Three, you can leave the plantlets to grow for another month or two if you want to get your first pineapple fruits faster. After three months, the plantlets would have grown much bigger. You can harvest and transplant at this stage. To transplant, fill 10 cm long or 500 ml planting bags with soil. Gardening soil works fine. Create a hole in the center of the soil and push the plantlets into the hole, making sure the roots are completely covered. Firm the base to ensure contact of roots with soil. The transplant will be kept in a shaded area for a month or two to grow more leaves before moving to the permanent spot. Water thoroughly and allow excess water to drain through small holes created at the bottom of the bag. More leaves will emerge and the transplant will be ready for reporting at about three months after transplant. Report into at least a 10 liter bucket filled with well-drained garden soil. Make a hole in the middle of the soil big enough to cover the soil level of the transplant. Place the transplant in the hole after removing the planting bag. Firm the base and water thoroughly allowing excess water to drain through holes created at the bottom of the bucket. Here are some important things to note. 1. During transplanting, make sure no soil gets into the growing tip of the plantlet to ensure survival. 2. Water the transplant with MPK solution twice a month to ensure healthy growth. One month after harvesting the first set of plantlets, new plantlets would have emerged. The transplanting and reporting steps can be repeated following the same timelines as indicated earlier. If you have any questions or suggestions, share in the comments. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe if you have not already done so and see you in the next video. Cha-cha!